hello welcome to my channel today we are diving in some fascinating cultural shocks around the world we will dive in Botswana Nigeria Ethiopia and America so let's go into the video and I'll see you. first of all let's talk about Ethiopia Ethiopia is rich in culture and also tradition but there are some fascinating things about Ethiopia that will shock you. So let's get into the video. Ethiopia comes from the Greek words Aitho and Ox, which together mean burnt face. This was how the ancient Greeks referred to the dark-skinned people of Eastern Africa. Ethiopia, according to several sources, was first founded in 980 BC. Ethiopia has a coffee culture. Did you know that Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee? Okay, the traditional coffee ceremony is bigger part in Ethiopian culture. It's not just about drinking the coffee, it's a social event that can last forever. All Ethiopians are proud of their coffee. We usually make coffee ceremonies three times a day. The main reason why we do the coffee ceremony is to social with our friends or family. It is the most important hospitality. I've been making coffee since I was 12 years old. First you have to wash the green beans and then we roast it. And after we're done roasting it, we walk around to let other people smell the smoke. Javana, it's made of a clay, it has a long head. It helps us to brew coffee. Uh, you don't actually need a filter, you just mix the coffee, grind with water, and you brew it in there. I never cared growing up, and now it's just the fact that I gather people and story that people share while I'm doing the coffee ceremony it has something meaningful. In Jera, Injera is the staple food in Ethiopia. It's a flattened bread. It's a sour um, with a unique sponge taste. You know what I'm saying? So eating with your hand in Ethiopia is common, like the way all Africans do, like the Indians also do, and a lot of Asian people also do. But we Africans, we do it the most. We eat with our hands. So injera is, is used to, like, you scoop it like this with you know originating in what is now ethiopia eritrea injera is thousands of years old the strongest evidence of injera cooking dates back to at least 600 a.d when the first methods or traditional round hot plates were found in the excavations of the ancient city of Aksum. Today, injera is the base of nearly every Ethiopian meal and is typically topped with numerous vegetable and meat dishes. It starts off with taf, a nutritious gluten-free grain originally grown in the highlands of Ethiopia and Eritrea. Awash, an Ethiopian restaurant, is one place that serves injera and Ethiopian cuisine in New York City. Lord and may you forgot to tell them to subscribe. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. So another surprising fact about Ethiopia is the Timkat festival. This is a major religious festival celebrating the epiphany. You know what I'm saying? Like Jesus introducing himself to the Gentiles. The vibrant processing of these rituals are sightseeing. You have to go and see it yourself. You you wonder.
Another cultural shock. Ethiopia is the only country never colonized, and they eat raw meat. So, if you want to find raw meat, you love, you are fan of raw meat, go to Ethiopia. You enjoy their, their, their they have a vegan paradise. You understand what I'm saying? So, go check it out. Next, let's talk about the country Nigeria. You know what I'm saying? This country is known for the diversity and vibrant culture. We all know Nigeria, Omo Niger, how far now? Greeting etiquette in Nigeria. In Nigeria, greeting is very important, like same like Ghana. It's a customary to get to greet everyone in the room and also you greet the elderly people, you have to kneel down and all that. Ibo Kwenu, Igwe. Understand, so greeting is very important in Nigeria. Yeah, me, a carrot be well. That is good, my mom. Good morning, okay. And uh, anytime we want to greet anybody like that, we greet with respect. The ladies will come, while we men will have to prostrate. We have culture, that's what I want to know. The greeting is very important. And Ondo, good morning is just a caroma. Good afternoon is a castle, like no Yoruba. The way they greet in my place is uh, Baba Reagbe. When they, you see anybody want to greet, you say Baba Reagbe. I'm from Ocean State. Ijebuje shall to be precise. There are also special greetings for the seasons and the different festivals when there is food drought and when there is plenty to eat. All occupations, trades, and professions have different greetings peculiar to each of them. Some of these include, among others, farmers, hunters, blacksmiths traders, teachers, the diviners, hairdressers, etc. In addition, different states of health have their own greetings. There are also greetings to be offered at funerals. For instance, there are different types of greetings for death. There are considered premature death and there are considered to be mature death. There is a type of greeting when one is embarking on a journey, another when you are right within the trip and another upon arrival. There are separate greetings for burying women, expecting murder, immediately after delivery and in the process of breastfeeding and weaning of the baby. The Igbo people cherish greeting and as such, it is seen as one of the ways they are known or identified. They see greetings as ways of showing respect and recognition to somebody. Students will learn cultural values and customs of the Igbo people. For any greeting, there are other good morning. You can simply use Ndewo. Did you know that Nigeria has the biggest, one of the biggest movie industry in the world? Nollywood. This Nollywood produces thousands of <laughs> movies each year and they have been part of the Nigerian culture for a very long time. They have been producing and making tons of movies every year. Nollywood is the name given to Nigeria's film industry. It is the second largest movie industry in the world, only next to Bollywood. Though Nollywood doesn't bring in as much money as Hollywood or Bollywood, it is noted and appreciated due to its work in much more limiting circumstances. The industry is a significant part of the arts, entertainment, and recreation sector in Africa and the African diaspora. According to PricewaterhouseCoopers, Nollywood contributed 2.3% of Nigeria's gross domestic product in 2016, and the International Monetary Fund currently estimate a 1.3% yearly for the gross domestic product in Nigeria. The industry is one of the priority sectors identified in the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan of the Federal Government of Nigeria, with a planned $1 billion in export revenue in the coming years. Another culture shock that people don't know, the street food. If you go to Nigeria, the street food is very delicious and it's puffy. You have the eba, you have the um, you have the ngongo soup, 
you have the meat, you have the soya. There is something for everyone. So if you go the street of Lagos is very busy and most rich people in Africa can be found in Nigeria. So the richest man in Africa is from Nigeria, Liko Dangote. The whole globe flattened out into a map. Seeing how far my money will get me as I attempt to fill my stomach. Fair Let's head to United States of America. <laughs> There are some culture shocks that you experience because there are a lot of people like, from different countries that visit the United States of America. Everybody want to go there. So my friends in America, I don't know if this is correct, but you can correct me on this one. Um, America, these are one of the cultural shocks. When you get to America, they have large portion sizes. Like one of the things people notice the moment they step in America is when you go to restaurants and you buy food, they give you some large portion size. It's quite different in other countries. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's happening in America. <laughs> Secondly, the tipping culture. You know, in America, when you go to maybe supermarket or whatever, you tip people. You know, when people do something for you, you tip them, you give them something small. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the tipping culture in America is different from other countries. Like, it's bigger part of the service industry. When you go to a restaurant, you have to leave something, but you know, <laughs> We from other countries, we don't do that. Even though people tip, but it's not like, you know, it's not common like that, you know. Taxi drivers, we have to tip them. Hairdressers, we have to tip them. You know? Waitresses and all that, no. <laughs> we don't tip them. But, hey, it's good to be kind, you know, if you have the money, just tip, you know what I'm saying? So, these are one of the culture shocks when you go to America. America has a large landscape, it's diverse, you know what I'm saying? So, the USA is incredible in, in terms of um, geography, from the beaches, the mountains, the deserts, and so much. There's much to explore in America. So, like in Africa, we have the desert, we have the beaches, we have that, but America, has it all so it's nice to visit to check it out finally let's head to Botswana um, Botswana this country is known for the stunning wildlife and a unique cultural practice number one the traditional ceremonies in Botswana like Botswana has many traditional ceremonies that are still practiced till today you know what I'm saying this include the initiation rites, the weddings, which are often elaborate and community focused. And I'm saying so, they have a wildlife in Botswana. It's a home for many most incredible wildlife in the world. Safaris experience like I'm parallel with the opportunity to see elephants, lions, rhinos, and more. You know what I'm saying? So, it's very nice to visit Botswana. The respect for elders. I know Africans do that, but the respect for elders in Botswana is on a higher level, you know what I'm saying? The respect for elders is very important. They are highly regarded and play a significant role in community decisions, you know what I'm saying? So that is so nice. That is why their country is developed like that. Not only is it a form of greeting or a conversation starter, it's also a way of acknowledging another person and establishing a relationship of mutual respect. So by the way, I would say that's for today. Today's video, I hope you have enjoyed learning about their culture shocks from Ethiopia, Nigeria, USA, and Botswana. If you don't, uh, <clears throat> 
understand anything just comment down below and you can also share your idea don't forget to subscribe share to your friend tell a friend and a tell a friend the lord is here i'm out peace